Every night, we show you the dangers that police face as they serve their communities. Tonight, we want to show you officers saving a life, literally. New body cam video from Springfield, Massachusetts has been released that shows officers saving a baby. They will both join us live in a moment. In body cam video released yesterday, officers Luis Rodriguez and Christopher Charles were at a work zone when a woman in a passing car started screaming that her three-month-old baby was choking, pale, and gasping for air. She was just choking. Huh? It's okay. Radio, could you send me a seven to the intersection of Bradley and Wilbraham Road, please? You okay, honey? You okay? Hi. You okay, ma'am? She's good. She's all right? She's good. She's good. There you go, baby. There you go. Uh, yep. Yep. There we go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I want you to cry. Leva, just leave her. Okay. Leva, I want you to cry. I want you to cry. Officer Rodriguez called for an ambulance and checked on another small child in the car. Officer Charles took the baby from her car seat, put her face down on his forearm, and patted her on the back to clear her throat. The baby started crying and breathing again. Okay. Amr is here. She's okay. She's okay. She's okay. Paramedics arrived and took the little girl to the hospital. She was released later the same day. I'm so happy to be joined by officers Christopher Charles and officer Luis Rodriguez. Gentlemen, thank you so much for taking the time. Really appreciate it. Wow. Uh, that is uh, one heck of a moment that we just watched there. Officer Rodriguez, let me start with you. Tell us how this started. Tell me about what this woman said to you and what you were doing at the time. So at the moment, um, Mr. Dan, uh, so it all started, we were just working our detail, and uh, uh, my back was turned. I turned around to go check up on my cruiser, and then she came up to us, and uh, she was saying her baby wasn't breathing. So I immediately activated my camera, and I immediately called my partner, Mr. Charles. And, you know, it was just, it was at that very moment, Mr. Dan, is the fact is that we all went on autopilot. You know, we went, we did everything we could to save the baby and the outcome came out to be positive. It's amazing. And Officer Charles, tell me about holding that baby and what you were thinking. In the moment, I was trying to stay calm, trying to help the baby, make sure that I do follow the procedure have gravity work for me. There's a reason why I, you know, I hold her upside down. I, I'll have a seat clamp, I'll, the airway is open, and do, do, proceed to give her back slaps um, until I hear she start crying, and then bring her back up, constantly checking to make sure there's no obstruction in the airways. She started crying, that's the sound that we wanted to hear. Um, I was relieved at that point um, when she started crying. Um, and you know, I think we did a great job, me and my fellow partner here, working together. And Officer Charles, you seem pretty calm. I mean, was that just on the outside or were you, were you that calm as it was happening? I, I, was, I was that calm when it was happening because we are trained to like, you know, keep our composure, go through the, go through the motions, let, the tra let our training kick in. Um, but I'm not gonna lie, at the end, I was, I was relieved, I was sweating and everything was going on with me at that point. <laughs> and Officer Rodriguez, you were also checking on another child who was yeah. there. Talk to us about that. So the, the girl in the back, actually, she, she maintained, you know, a very good attitude. She seemed very scared at the moment. Um, she did advise her mom that the baby was choking. But as I, as I, saw, I, as I sat and talked to her, you know, she, she noticed that the baby was fine. So she was very calm. And, uh, you know, nobody wants to see a choking sister in the back of a car. So, uh, like I said, she did, she did a very good job to maintain composure. Let me take another look at that moment um, as Officer Charles was cradling uh, the baby. Um, you were calling for an ambulance. Let's listen. Hello? 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 All right. We don't have the sound, but there is the image again. Um, and I assume, Officer Charles, this is something that you trained for. Yes, sir. Um, you know, the academy is at least 40 hours of... Um, CPR, first aid, all, um, that type of training. Um, also, I recently just came back from in-service in January, so it was a refresher, going through the things that we need, knowledge that we need, need to know, um, and just hands-on skills, so we can do these type of um, life-saving measures in the field at any given time. Yeah, it's terrific. And look, it's the sort of thing that I wish, you know, the media as a whole would, would showcase more. 
is the work that you guys do, the good days, the great days, the, the days where you can say, this is amazing, um, not just the bad days that it seems many of my colleagues in the media focus on. Um, so, officers Christopher Charles and Luis Rodriguez, thank you. Thank you for what you did. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for what you do. I appreciate it. Thank, thank you, Mr. Dan. Thank you for having us. Coming up. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.